Hello, my name is Greg Ferris with MyoBrain, and this video will be a quick overview of how you can log your weights, upload your videos, just become more comfortable with the True Coach platform here you'll use to see your program uh, each day. So I create kind of a sample day here with a good variety of movements. We'll kind of just go through what you'll see uh, on your mobile app. So. You'll have a, a warm up with some instructions in here. Of course, this is kind of suggested, but you'll see the, the video tutorials up top here. You can click on any of those as needed and then see the actual warm up baked in there. Pretty easy, pretty self explanatory. Your program may also have some more notes based upon what week you're, you're on, what the overall intent of the session is. Again, that will kind of depend upon your particular goals. That kind of can be here in the main instruction section before you jump into the actual workout. So once you go through that quick warm up, you will see your designated workout. So again, a video where you can watch this back if you need some help on the technical side of the exercise. You will then see your sets, your reps, any sort of weight suggestion or an RPE, the rest periods, all of that will obviously be uniquely for you. You may see some notes in there as well. So in this one, it says focus on exploding quickly out of the hole for the back squats. You may see a different coach from your, a different note from your coach in there. Also, you see the all caps video of this, which means your coach would want to see that uh, to make sure your technique is on point. Okay. Then you see that button down there so you can add your results. So say, for example, if this person hit 195 pounds for six reps, they can click that in there so they can add results. And then that's for their first set here. Whenever they're done with the activity, of course, you would want to check that just to make sure your coach knows you've completed it. Obviously, they would do all of their sets there. Next thing you see in there is that purple text where it says add photo or video. So a very cool feature here. Again, you can click on that. And that will then give you permission to either directly record. You can use the camera and record yourself directly inside the app or use your photo library if you record it elsewhere and you wanna pull that in. So I can go photo library, say pick a deadlift video I just did, and then that will take a minute, but it will upload there. Then your coach will be able to see that. And also the nice thing is, say when you complete this workout, you'll also be able to go in and see if I click exercise history here, anytime you've done a back squat and any video you've uploaded with the term back squat. So that's really nice to see that exercise history, obviously for your coach, but even for you, if you wanna go back and look at some of your old videos and technique, okay? So that kind of gives you a rundown of the strength movements there. There are quite a few in here, but similar, uh, similar flow, video, sets and reps, weight suggestions, notes, et cetera. Again, it's all kind of a similar thing there. I do wanna bring your attention now to an area where you see here for D1 and D2. So this will designate a superset option you can do with these two movements. So in this particular case, you see the standing calf raise and lying leg curl. So if we go into that, it looks mostly the same and you actually will see in that top left there, a superset section, as well as some notes. So if you look in the instructions, it says rest one to two minutes between sets, optional superset with D2. So really this will just kind of be used to save time. We also know that logistically it maybe can be hard to superset movements in a commercial gym or if pieces of equipment are super far away from one another. So obviously bring that up to your coach, but it could be a way just to have more density and quickness inside your workout. So if you see a D1, D2, or sort of superset, Obviously look at your notes section if you want some more context there. That typically would mean you can superset those things back to back. So in this example, I would do the calf raise, rest one to two minutes, do the leg curl, rest one to two minutes, and then of course do two sets of each of those movements. So that takes care of mostly the lifting portion. Now I'll complete this with how sort of a circuit, uh, kind of Metcon crossfit style style work workout we'll see. Uh, we'll kind of look for you. So you see that top left again, it says circuit right there. This looks similar to the warm up fashion. And it's written in all text down below. So you see three sets each for time, the lunges, the front squats, etc. You may see some notes down there from your coach as well about exactly how they want you to execute that. So make sure you run through that. And then obviously, if anything is new for you, you need a reminder on the technique. Those videos will all be baked in here, kind of in that circuit fashion. 
And then as far as logging the results, you still can do that the same way. So you can come in here, if this is three sets, see I did this before, but set one, I did 340, maybe set two, I went a little bit faster and did 332. And you would kind of just log that as is, similar fashion there. Last thing here, you may see a cool down from your coach, you may not. For me, what I'll do with my clients is in this cool down section, just a reminder of what I wanna see in the workout. So you see the weight and the reps, any videos I requested, maybe how long the workout took you as well, just so we kind of run the same page. If you tell me you only have 45 minutes on Mondays, I wanna make sure it's it's getting into that, that uh, window we've discussed. And then also any general thoughts on the workout, how things felt, if you hit a PR, if you felt groggy, whatever, right? Any of those notes. This part is a little bit tricky, but if you look in the top right-hand corner, there's that little comment section with a one, you can click on that area and that's where you can enter in any of these just brain dump comments. So I can type in back squats felt way better than last week. Excited about progress. That Metcon killed me though, right? Whatever you want to say can be whatever kind of up to you. You see here, you also can maybe upload an image from, from that area if you kind of want to for your coach there. And you'll upload that. You don't really see this anywhere after you upload it. You obviously can always go and see it. That really does ping your coach to essentially when we look at these workouts now, that's the first thing we see. You kind of see your sets, your reps, your videos, but it also pings us. Okay, what was the overall feel, the highlights, the lowlights of that session? That kind of can draw our attention to the most pressing things. And then as you'd imagine, there's a complete workout button. There's a cool graffiti section there. And then you'll see kind of the rest of your app, obviously with the upcoming and pass there. So I'm going to end that video here. That's essentially how you can run through a full workout on the True Coach app. Hopefully this was helpful.